Joining me now is Victoria SES Commander David Becker. David, thanks for your time. The rain has stopped, which is good news after that uh, record rainfall that we had across parts of Victoria uh, yesterday. So we're really looking at the Goulburn River uh, as well. Seymour um, peaking. It, it's, it's currently steady. Rochester, Seymour and Ye, they're, they're the towns that had the biggest issues. Are people able to return to their homes today now that the rain has stopped or are those evacuation orders still in place? Yeah, thanks, Kenny. And uh, absolutely good news that the rain has stopped. So what we're dealing with is the uh, moisture in the systems now um, that'll flush through uh, two rivers of uh, note for us that we're monitoring Camp Paspe and the Goulburn River. And you're right, the three townships that we've focused on yesterday and overnight have been Ye, Seymour and Rochester. In regards to Ye, uh, as we speak, uh, Vic Roads and Council will be inspecting roads and bridges out of Ye to determine that they're trafficable and uh, safe. And once that's declared, um, the police can open the roads again if the, the floodwaters have receded there uh, on the Goulburn. Um, and then we'll continue with assessments. We know of uh, three homes that were impacted above floor in Ye and 22 other properties had impacts on land. So those assessments will continue today and hopefully Ye will be opened up again once the safety checks have been undertaken. Uh, Seymour sees uh, the Goulburn uh, falling there and uh, we'll continue assessments with impacts in the Seymour area. Rochester sees the Camp Paspe hitting major um, about an hour ago and uh, that's expected to peak in the Rochester Township uh, during this morning. Uh, we could see 35 properties potentially impacted above floor and up to a couple of hundred properties that could be impacted under floor. Emergency warnings do remain in place for those three townships. We'll review those emergency warnings in respect to Ye and Seymour as uh, we become uh, more aware at first light around the uh, the river falls there. and uh, But of course, uh, Rochester is now um, uh, firmly uh, in our sights with the Camp Paspe heading downstream there and the impacts into that township today. Yeah, so quite a number of homes that have been impacted by flooding. You were mentioning that, that they were checking on the roads in and out of Ye. So has Ye been cut off and are any other communities cut off in Victoria at the moment? Yeah, look, uh, Ye was um, isolated as of uh, last night and uh, that's why the checks were being done. And, and there's safety checks being undertaken by the road management authorities. It's, it's not enough to simply say the waters have receded. They want to make sure that the bridges haven't been impacted, the road surface is still safe to travel on. And they'll do those, those checks, as I say, this morning. Once they're satisfied, the police can open the roads again. Um, and, and we expect that will be the case, subject to their, their safety inspections. There, there's a number of communities um, that, that have been impacted in some way downstream uh, with the Goulburn and the Campaspe, which are the, the two rivers we're, we're monitoring at this stage. Um, but but the, the townships of Ye, Seymour and Rochester are three specifically that we've focused on in the last 24 hours. OK, look, really appreciate the update there, David, and, and good luck today in, in helping the residents get through this one. Thanks so much for your time, Kenny. Cheers.